There we go. Hey, yo! How is everyone doing? We're on the other side of the room now. Because today I'm playing a PC game. <laughs> uh, originally I was planning on playing... Uh, fuck, what's the fucking game called? I'm also going to turn my audio just down a bit because I can see it peaking in the yellow. I don't like that. Uh, I originally was going to play Lovecraft Untold Stories or whatever the fuck it's called. I'm taking these off because it sounds really weird while I'm talking. Uh, I was going to originally play Lovecraft Untold Stories uh, on my Switch. Uh, but I'm kind of too lazy to set it up. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I haven't played a PC game for a while. I've bought a lot of shit off of uh, GOG. So let's see what's there. And I found something that's somewhat thematic to Lovecraft in the way that it's uh, Clive Barker. Who, a lot of his stuff is very Lovecraft, well, Eldrick Horror in Lovecraftian, whatever. Uh, you know, things like Hellraiser, obviously, and honestly, I don't know much about <laughs> Clive Parker other than Hellraiser. And um, Jericho, I did play that game, because um, Dylan kept recommending me playing it. And it's, eh, I don't remember that as well as he does. Anyways, so, one of the things about uh, Clive Barker uh, stuff, I've seen things from this game. Okay, good. I was going to ask about Pinhead. Yeah, of, of course I know Pinhead. Who the fuck does not know about Pinhead? Anyways, uh, one of the, the, the things about Clive Barker games in general is that they're not well received. Let's say that. They're not uh, super well received. Um, I think there's there's like what three Clive Barker games. There's Undying, Jericho, and there's like another one I can't fucking remember for the life of me. Uh, I probably have it on GOG. There's <laughs> no doubt about that if it's existing. Um, so yeah, I I did a little test run. It's a first person shooter with story. So we'll uh. Let's play that. Okay. So, we're going to... I'm going to start the game. Uh, I'm going to need you to tell me if the audio is too loud or not. Because, of course, with all these older, uh, almost DOS, early CD kind of games, there's no way for it to properly window, so I can't just hover my mouse over to slabs, or slobs, to mess with the audio over here. So I just have to mess with it in-game a little bit, which I'm fine with. I might have to actually turn it down, so... Cause these, uh, headphones are a little too good for their own good. <laughs> and if I only wore the headphones around my neck, then the mic's gonna pick it up because of how loud these headphones are. Anyways, let us start the game. Launch. That's purposely loud. That is purposely loud. It's like the, uh, at the beginning of movies where it's just like, Whoa. You don't see anything yet. There we go. So the audio might be a little quiet right now. Actually, it might be a bit loud. <laughs> Looking at how it spikes. How is the audio right now? Sound effects are loud. We're turning the sound effects down. Voices can be up. Sounds good, actually. Okay. High quality sound. Oh, boy. <laughs> Fuck, that's loud as hell. Hmm. Is that... That's, that's fine still? I, I just have to make sure before we move on. <laughs> Loud for you, but it's kind of quiet, but you can hear it. Okay. It might get a bit louder. We'll find out. Uh, we're just going to do easy because I don't know anything about this game. Story time. Uh, I'm tired of traveling or fighting superstition and its many manifestations even though it was me who chose to debunk folklore and mysticism. 
Little did I Can know you hear I it? Up being labeled as Patrick Galloway, the man with endless occult knowledge. Before I knew it, people all over the world paid me to investigate all kinds of weird things. <gasps> as long as they paid me, I'd look into it. <laughs> okay. Funny thing, though, the more I saw, the more I believed there are forces beyond our control. Creatures not explainable in any human terms. Things that make me scared <laughs> crawl. Did you see the pixelated fog? Holy shit, that looks terrible. Till the Great War started. I joined a special unit whose job it was to squelch the fears of the superstitious farm boys who made up the fighting ranks. The Trasati were the biggest pains. New commanding officer, Jeremiah Covenant, led our unit in the hunt for their camp. We were ambushed. They came streaming out of the woods, waving swords and howling like banshees. I saw their leader holding a strange stone over his head, yelling weird words in a strange tongue. And just when I was going to pull the trigger, he glared right at me. A bright green flash came from his hand, and it bowled me over as my gun went off. I woke up in a hospital bed with severe burns. They told me Jeremiah and the unit had gone on without me, but he'd given me the shaman stone to keep. I hadn't given any of this much thought until I came back here to find this letter that Jeremiah wrote me almost six months ago, asking me to come back to Ireland and help him out. This is not something I'm dying to do, or it may mean the death of me. He saved my life, though, so I owe it to him. Just hope it's not too late. I just hope it's not too late. <laughs> okay, oh wow. It's, uh, F3X, this is your journal. Is it still too loud? I don't know. <laughs> Holy shit, that thunder. I have the sound effects practically turned down. Unless it goes under ambience. Okay, uh... It's not loud for us at all. Okay, okay. It's just me, then. I wonder if... No, of course that's not gonna do anything. Eh, whatever. I'll live with it. I might yell a lot. If, uh, if I do yell a lot, that's, that's why. It's because it's very loud on my end. Okay. Uh, before we actually get start, we actually start because I just realized. Grab yourself your beverage of choice. I'm drinking Orange Crush. Oh wow! I just opened it for the first time. I couldn't find Dr Pepper. I'm actually very uh, disheartened a little bit. <laughs> okay, back to the game. Now I don't know if this is classified as a. Sur Survival horror or not. Wait! The fuck? The fuck was hurting me there? Is it the rat? The, the rat hurts me? Oh my fucking god! The, the rat's attacking me! Fuck you, rat. Uh, eh. That's what you get for attacking me, motherfucker. Do the bats attack? Oh fuck, the bats are gonna attack me, no! Okay, good. Holy shit! Look- Look at that! You can see the outline of the skybox! Oh no! Oh no, look at that crease! Oh fuck, the rat's attacking me again. Bad rat. Fuck you, you can't get me in the water, can you, little bastards? The, oh man, that's... Mmm. You, you can see the edge of the world. That's not good for this game at all. Is there anything for me to explore, I guess? Oh, hello. You're Jeremiah's old war buddy. Any, anything to add to that, good sir? I am tempted to... 
fire the gun off him. Fuck you, rat. I will waste all my shots on you if I have to. What's in here? Jammed. Jammed. Oh boy. Alright, let's go inside then. Opening doors is just pushing yourself up against them. I'm Patrick Galloway, a friend of Jeremiah's. Sorry it took me so long to get here. His letter said it was most urgent. There are rats all over the place. Jeremiah is beginning to think that the letter never arrived in your hands. He's been quite anxious to see you. We've all been quite worried. Jeremiah's now bedridden. Follow me and I'll show you to his living quarters. He was bitten by rats, he was. I apologize for the look of the house, <laughs> but there's only a skeleton or three of servants now. Jeremiah let go of everyone else, and the house is much too large for us to clean. <laughs> because we've lost electricity for most parts of the house, we can only maintain the living quarters. This family's had so much tragedy. I hope you can help him. There'll be more that I'm here. I'm half expecting it to just go into gameplay. But, oh. Wow, okay, I was right. Not as instantaneous as I was uh, initially thinking it would. Edgar Allan Poe? What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what the shit's going on? You gained herbs. Stuck. Oh, stuck. Jammed. Jammed. <laughs> Opened. Wow, this is a little... F3. I never even looked at the ship. Each time my past fades from my memory. Fate has a terrible habit of awakening me, reawakening me. Most often, the unpleasant name of Otto is the vehicle of my remembrance. But not today. My old friend and comrade officer in the Great War, Jeremiah, has set me word. <laughs> um, we got we got the stone. I have no idea what the fuck this is. Uh, I've carried this artifact ever since the day it's given it to me. The whatever the power of the stone has, its dark side. Oh wait, hold on. I should probably read this bit. <laughs> I know. I do sound like I know how to do a knockoff. Uh, Ringo is what I usually. Because I had to do it for so many stupid videos early on. All oh, like me and the bad mites. <laughs> uh, it seems to have thrown out a shockwave of considerable force. And even oh, ever since I acquired the stone, I have noticed strange sightings and visual anomalies. However, the power of the stone has its dark side. On occasions, a beast from beyond this world has attacked me. My only explanation for this appearance is that it, that I was using the stone's power far too long. I have not seen the beast for a while, of course. I have not no need for the stone. Not needed the stone. No need for stone. Stone, no need. Trusty revolver. A spell that allows me to see and hear past events. Hmm. Locations. Okay. Meet with my old friend. There is not much of an inventory as far as I can tell. Hold up. I'm going in. Oh, what the? Oh, that was E. Okay. Do. Do I dare see the past events or just. Nah, I'll just use my gun. Lots of loading screens. Patrick. You made it. At your service, Jeremiah. 
Sorry for the delay, but I <laughs> What the fuck was that transition? It seems I've come under the watchful eye of the Reaper, my friend. It's been a long time, huh? Holy oh, shit, that's bad. Wait too long. And Patrick, I came back from the war only to find my entire estate in disarray. My brother Aaron disappeared first, and then my sister Bethany. My declining health is a result of an old war wound, and unfortunately, the symptoms are irreversible. I didn't summon you here to watch me die. I, I need your help. <laughs> Anything I can do, just name it. Strange enough, These models are terrible. around the manor. After thinning out my staff, they ransacked my estate, taking whatever they could carry. The rest of the help was quick to follow, as they feared rumors of my family. I don't know. I can't help but think it's more than a coincidence. Oh my it's god, look at those models. Holy oh shit, you can see the lines. From the war. I want to get to the bottom That's made of this, four assets. But I'm just too weak to investigate it myself. I'm relying on you to step in for me. Of course, Jeremiah. The only reason I risk coming back here is to assist you however I can. My thanks to you, Patrick. What the hell was that? Sounds like it came from downstairs. I'll check it out. Lock the door behind me. Oh, who's out there? I'm going to shoot you. Egger on Poe? <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Eggy, <laughs> get back here. Four assets that all have <laughs> different colors. Yeah. <laughs> I, I imagine the color differences for lighting to make it easier, but it's so weird looking. I think I go through the open door. I think I go through the open door. Half expecting a loading screen. Can you describe what you can only see? As the bonds of flesh are broken. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I'll take that. I picked up bullets. How do I use my um health pack that I picked up? Was that it? This is a very empty looking room. I guess I'll go this way. <gasps> health pack. Give me. Oh wow, that's actually a rather nice mirror effect. That that is a very nice mirror effect. There's one thing you can say about this game: it knows how to do a mirror. Oh shit! That thing's real! This thing's also real! Shoot it! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> that gun reloads very slowly. <laughs> oh no, it's a dead lady. She's very small. Boom, motherfucker. Oh. Oh, hello. Do, 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 do. Bam, bam. Nope, I missed. I missed. Missed. Miss. Hit it. Perfect. First try. <laughs> stuck. Oh, suck. It's jammed. Despite this door being there, it doesn't appear to have a knob for me to open. Stuck. Stuck. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> I guess I go up. <laughs> I guess I go through the open door. 
Oh, there's no open door. Oh, hello! Fuck! I did not even see you there! Bam. I killed you. You were supposed to lock the door, you idiot! <laughs> those beasts were after me! What in God's name were those things? They're called howlers. And well, I've never seen one before tonight. The howling? I've heard of them for years. Those weren't natural, my friend. We're fighting more than superstitions here. Perhaps I was being naive not to tell you. But there might be something more sinister at work here. When I was a boy, I encountered something I can't quite explain. You see, there was this aisle of standing stones that sits just off the estate. Someone had carved a sigil into each of the stones. Something indiscernible. Father had many books on the occult, one of which contained a sketch of that very symbol. And I, I keep it right here. And sisters out to the island and read from my father's book. <laughs> well, what happened? Something answered. The ocean began to boil, and a great wind whipped against us as we stood in the circle, and my siblings huddled to the ground in fear. Eventually, the wind died, and the sea settled. <laughs> Patrick, I know it sounds like the ravings of a dying man, but I believe those standing stones had something to do with this. What has once been a taint upon this family has now begun to manifest itself. But you told me you're dying. Doesn't this curse end with you? Who knows? <laughs> My brothers and sisters are dead, but I don't think they're really gone. I've heard some <sighs> servants whispering. They think they've seen Lisbeth on the estate. My family has come for me. I sense them, Patrick. I was half expecting his head to turn. I know the supernatural exists. You saw the Howlers. And what about our encounters with the Tersanti during the war? You still even carry the Gelzebar stone. It's a token of the shaman's life I took. That's all. I found a scroll with a picture of a Gelzebar on it. I believe it contains the way to awaken the stone's dormant power. Okay. That doesn't sound bad at all. Let me study this scroll overnight, and I'll see what I can do in the morning. This house still hides many secrets. I'm counting on you to reveal them. And put an end to this mess. I'll put an end by murdering you. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, am I just in a different room now? Ectoplasm. The scroll uh, get, uh, has revealed a powerful spell. It seems that with proper concentration and focus of my mana, I'm able to release an ether bolt of ectoplasm from my hand. Unreliable as far as range, the mystical damage seems to be quite effective in close range. That's great to know. How do I use it? Let me use ectoplasm. Thank you. Welcome to the random button pressing portion. Oh, that's a, that's the quick save. Found that button. Didn't want me to do it, but I found it. Um, fuck your magic. <laughs> Listen, video game. If you're not gonna teach me how it works, I'm not gonna use it. I read the scroll. I'm gonna murder things. Hello, statue. Whoa!
What? Not as anything strange going oh. Apparently, Elizabeth's room was broken into last night during a commotion. Thank you. Where's her room? Uh, Boro... Bartortis? Bartortis? Thank you for joining. Y you have found me. I didn't even know you were looking for me. Uh, uh, thank you for the follow? Yes. Thank you for finding me? Tell me what you know about Lisbeth. Why did you ask her such a young lass? Why did I fire her? Oh. She could be placid and... Andrew? <laughs> Suddenly she spit and curses and swinging her nails at you like an animal. She's a pity her mother died by a hemorrhage. Indeed. I'll take that laugh as a co as confirmation. I cared for her when she was sick and washed her wither away to nothing. I mean, all you have to do is ask. <laughs> uh, now she rests with her poor mother at the family mausoleum. Her groundskeeper claims to have seen her recently. Poor man. Oh, who the fuck was that? Ghost was never a good omen. Where can I find this groundskeeper? He's out in the garden. You can get there through the kitchen. Your knowledge is appreciated. Thank you. So, so far there's been... Four people in this room? Or four people in this house? One of them's dead? Thing. Oh. I'm so curious. <laughs> oh, this house needs a priest. This house needs my gun. Um, I'm a very short person. Okay, where the f I guess I'll go this way. I wasn't paying attention to where she said. Oh, cool. Spooks. Uh, spooks. No. Oh, so lame. Okay, Jimmy, out of that. Um. I guess I'll go back this way. Gotta find my way out. Uh, this way? Won't budge. Oh, it's jammed. Um, a map would be very nice. Locked. Uh, of course. Okay. Mm, what about the other side? doing over here you dumbass <laughs> don't run towards them <laughs> like did I just okay I think I came from that room hey you're Alan Poe where are you Jam. This way? Won't budge. Well, then of course. Is it the door that looks like you can open? Yeah. <laughs> this way? An open door? Ooh. Look. I have no idea how to use any of these things it's given me. This looks like it's outside. Damn. Nope. Hmm. Ooh. Another health pack I don't know how to use. Jammed. Yeah, it's just there. Oh, you're alive. For now. I 
Is that the door to the gardens? Yes, it is. However, I don't have the key. I lent it to the maid. I believe she is cleaning Air Kaisinger's room today. It's located in the Fox east near the house. Thanks. I appreciate your help. Won't budge. Where's the east wing? Where's anything? Is this the door? Ha! Nice try, motherfuckers. Saw that one coming a mile away. That's not the door I want either. Ignore the, the gunfire, ma'am. What the fuck? Oh, you're not dead yet. Okay. What do you want? Nope. Do we go in here? Won't budge. Open up. There we go. I think they want me to go this way. Oh, I didn't even see you up there. Yo. Hey. Where is it? I know it is around here someplace. What are you looking for? Something's supposed to happen? Oh. Well, oh, what was it? Reddish leaves swirling in the wind. Oh, is this like a story? <sighs> Don't know what it's supposed to mean other than being very, very wordy. Come back here so I can shoot you. Cowards. Okay, I don't know how to use my magic yet. <laughs> Someone's having fun with Gmod. Okay. I was expecting something to happen with those paintings, and I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> Which one of you bastards is going to move? Here. Yeah. Don't know if that door's going to open. This one looks like it might, though. Oh. Bethany often used this room as her office after Jeremiah left for the war. Can I have the key? Can I have the key, ma'am? What does the newspaper... Oh, writing. Uh, waste my time. Trials and errors. 
Great Beast believes. Open Society. That should be. Is there supposed to be another page? Can I flip? Nope. Now let me flip to the next page. All right. Give me the key. Okay, well the game's the game's told me to look around. In this room or Hey ghost. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Jammed. Shit. Um, the door. Oh shit! Hello, hello, hello! Holy crap! Come on, come on, come on, come! On. <laughs> there we go. Whew. Too many. <laughs> Do you have the key? No, you don't. How do I use the... I want to use that Echoplasm. That sounds like a really fun ability to use on these things. Stop. Jammed. Um, spooky. Choices. Uh, we'll go this way. Oh, fuck off. There's one behind me, too. There's two behind me. Eat it. Oh, thank God. Fucking being able to see. Oh, God. A lot of rooms where there's, like, nothing. But enemy encounters. Oh. Oh no. The window's open. Well, that, this isn't that bad of an effect. Oh. I, fuck. I did not mean to do that. Hello. How do... This is... Messing with my magic? Please don't do that. I gotta figure out how to heal. How do I heal? Get key from maid. Yeah, well, we're working on that. I can only imagine that it's automatic or something. Or it's supposed to be. Oh, yeah. There we go. We got magic on our side now. Sparkly thing. Thank you. Oh no. Okay, we got it. <laughs> the the echo's very weird coming from the other room. <laughs> Dead. Oh, you motherfucker. Take that. Oh no, I can't see anything. Oh there we go. Jammed. Um. Jammed. Stuck. Uh. So that 
upstairs is absolutely pointless. Locked. Then why did I come here? What's the point? Was there another door I didn't see, or? I'll look at the. I I have looked. Listen, ghost voice. If you're not gonna help, don't say anything. It's much easier telling me I went in the wrong direction. Oops, did not mean to do that. Bullets! My best friend. I'm expecting more mirror things to happen, and I'm a little disappointed. Hello. Ooh, this room looks fun. Whoops. Uh, a little trigger happy there. Left. Right. Loading screen. Oh, wait. We went to the right way. Oh, we gotta go all the way back. Okay. Hmm, I love those pixels. Whoops, I am... I'm collecting so many books I'm not gonna read. Ooh! <laughs> Where are we? The game has gotten interesting. Uh, no, no, no. Well, I died. Oh. That's okay. Death is but a minor, minor inconvenience. Also, we can see the skybox again. So that's fun. I think I just run past this thing. No. That works. Surprisingly well. That was just the way around. That's completely pointless. Oh, there's something. Oh. Grab this. Oh, fuck. Something's killing me. Is it him? I'm assuming I'm supposed to find something else around here. You're dead, yeah. <laughs> oh. Hit. Hit. Can I just use? Am I supposed to just use this? Yes. Wee. Trigger happy. Uh, oh, 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 almost over jump that. I'll show you real magic. The boss battle already? Coward, get back here! <laughs> uh, 
Interesting. Oh, hello. Ooh. This weapon sounds fun. I want to hit him with this one. Hey. Come back here. I have something fun to show you now. <laughs> I can get back to them. Eh? Well. <laughs> That's a quick way to die. I guess you really didn't notice it, but the game goes from like 7 to 100 really quickly. No, not really. I don't notice that. Okay, we're just gonna avoid that. Avoid that. Take this. Open this up. I'm speedrunning this shit now. See ya! We don't want to be a. Uh, oh no! You can't follow me. This is cheating. Okay. Let me show you real magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's go get the fun gun. didn't work out too well. I'm gonna hold my trusty gun here. Okay, that's not the way I'm supposed to go. That's definitely not the way I'm supposed to go! Didn't want me to keep it. Burn all my magic. Motherfucker. Eh. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's where I was supposed to go. Well, I found real magic. Oh. Fun. I wonder what this weapon does now. Thing just has infinite ammo or something? Oh, shit. This weapon's really not that great. my way out. How do I crouch? The crouch button. Excuse me as I continue my way out. Oh, that's not nice.
I'm getting I am getting stuck on everything, and I'm not liking it at all. There we go. Okay, yeah, that weapon sucks. Fuck you! <laughs> oh my god! Out of the way! Am I going the- I'm going the right way. Jesus Christ, these guys are annoying! At least there was that loading screen there. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> Friendship is magic or some bullshit. Oh god, get out of the way. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, that was the way. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't think it was that room. Yes, it was this way. Oh, excuse me. Yes, open very slowly. No, it's not that door. Ooh, boy. Look at those frames. Did I go upstairs? Do, I mean, downstairs? Do I stare? I guess so. Good, they stopped chasing me. Oh no, they definitely did not. Ooh, I'll take that. Stuck. Fuck off. Fudge. I mean, jammed. Okay, so it's this way. This room, I guess. None of this place looks all that familiar. Whoops, trigger happy. No. Okay, then I I guess I don't need that. Who's the worst <laughs> worse than a ghost? A smug ghost and a tux. Excuse me. Oh, it won't open. It's stuck. I will murder everything in this room if I have to. Thank you. Oh, fuck. I mean, fuck. Ugh. Force field off this, please. Oh, there we go. Solve that puzzle. Or did I? I have a fireball spell? And I'm wasting it on lighting candles? <laughs> I 
I got dispel. Uh, how do I? This is such an ineffective way of selecting my magic. Thank you. Locked. Oh fuck off! I mean fuck off. Stuck. Oh god dang it! Bullet. <laughs> Locked. Oh, of course. Need a key. Yeah, I, I figure that much out. Oh, the, I tried the store? Stuck. Yes, I did. Hello. Stuck. Uh, mm -mm. Yep. I dispel all of you. Get out of my face. How do I change my magic quickly? Oh, fuck off. Oh, jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Oh, I'm so dead. Won't budge. Can I use the magic on the ghost? Or is that door locked? Won't budge. Of course. Must be a door I did not go through. Locked. Pa, pa, pa. Need a key. Did I not get the servant's key? Won't budge. Won't budge. It's jammed. Um. Did I kill all the ghosts? All the ghouls? Okay, so there's a puzzle here, I guess. Okay, uh, no. Uh, uh, and crouch. There we go. Chip. Is this the door? Yes! Objective! Oh, we're outside. Out, out of the... Wow, you're weak as shit. I can take a couple hits from these things. Let me kill it! There we go. That was satisfying. I don't. Th I hope that wasn't the gardener. Okay. I gotta change my spell. I don't like the uh, the magic. Nope. There we go. Mm, ectoplasm so much better. It actually does something. Hey. What can you tell me about Lisbeth? I've seen her. I've seen poor Lisbeth on the heather. When? I was coming back to the manor one evening, and I saw a silhouette perched atop a hill. At first, I thought it was a banshee, but I caught a glimpse of her face by the family mausoleum. It was Lisbeth poor dear. Family mausoleum? It's to the west of the main house, through the trees. <laughs> Is that near the standing stones, by chance? Standing stones? You have no need to go out there. There's nothing but bad luck and suffering for all who visited that island. I'll unlock the gate in the outer grounds, but I assure you that venturing out to the standing stones will meet on no good. <laughs> no good is potentially my middle name. Patrick, oh no good, Brian. Oh, open up. 
No, oh, look at that. We got a whole map. Oh, jeez. All right, I guess I go this. Mm, trigger finger. Where the? This way, I guess. Okay. Just gotta plop you and expect you to know the direction you're supposed to go. Oh fuck, birds. Hello. I did I shoot myself? What the fuck? How did I hurt myself? <laughs> Damn bullet ricocheting off the gate. <laughs> This skybox, Jesus Christ. Ow. Haha! <laughs> Murdered. It really is a skybox. It's it's a damn cube. Yeah. <laughs> Jammed. Um. Stuck. Stuck. Jammed. Oops, trigger finger. The good thing is, is the, uh, the magic does replenish. <laughs> so my inability to keep my finger from pressing said button is not going to hinder my ability to play game. It, oh, there's a scroll in there. <gasps> Invoke! What does that do? Uh, F3. Uh, this spell causes creatures I have just killed to be brought back to life. This time to join my cause. Cool. That sounds like a good thing. Uh, just gotta switch over to it. There we go. Hey, oh... The body's gone. Well, that's not fun. Oh, motherfucker, I need someone else to help me here. I think. Come here and be my friend. Oh, fuck! I'm out of bullets! <laughs> no! Oh, this is not a good time to have to change magic. That is the spell. Mm, whoops. <laughs> that is unfortunate. <laughs> I ran out of bullets. We're not going to waste my precious gun bullets. Please stay there so I can use you. No! Damn it. I'm too slow. Okay, we're going to keep this out. There, there has to be a better way to do this. There's another crouch button. Uh, hold on. Hey, there's the controls. I want to know... <sighs> Wait, there's an alternate? What? Oh, there's just another way to use it. Okay. Select spell. Or end. The fuck is the end key? Where the hell is it? Looking for keys I never had to use. Oh my god, it's all the way over there. 
That's removing my fucking hand from the control regardless. I don't even know what I could change it to. <gasps> Actually. Um... What if... Oh! Okay. Three and four, that's a lot easier to do. Okay. Come here! I got magic to spare. I don't want to waste my bullets. Oh, come on! Oh. Gross. They took my head. I would like to at least get to try the invoke spell. <laughs> like, really badly. Actually, hold on. Is there a way to use health packs? There's inventory? Eh, wow. Okay. We learned so much about this game that should have told me to begin with. Uh, and... Okay, uh, that didn't do much. No? Okay, well, what they're good. You know, a lot of good games tell you the basic controls. I shouldn't have to be looking this up. Uh, previous inventory, F, V, and then use. F, V, okay. Ether trap, bullets. I apparently do not have health packs. They just kind of disappeared. Oh, well, that's fun. Does this place any have anything? Oh, bullets! Bullets! Gimme! Motherfucker. Does that mean it's open or it's stuck? It'd be stuck. I got a lot more bullets, though. I can kill those monsters. And then use invoke. Welcome to the gun show! Oh. Help me! Help me! Help me! <laughs> Do as you're told! I command thee! <laughs> yes. Wow. Well, that help was not very helpful. <sighs> um, oh boy, I saved it. 
Uh, I think we gotta end it there. That was actually a good, what, hour and a bit? I don't know what to think about this game. I'm taking these headphones off. Ugh. Uh, that's a... That's an interesting game. <laughs> it's... It's a... It's very... Meh. A lot of the mechanics are very clunky. I, this came out in 2001, I think. And just, like, it asking you to do things like memorize the layout of the house in order to get from A to B in some fashion. It's a game I've seen people play either say you love it or it's just... Yeah, exactly. It's, there's some really cool things with that. Like, it's, it's fun to shoot the demons, but I mean, like, I can play Doom to get that same satisfaction. The story, just, it seems a bit interesting, I suppose. But it's, it's just a little bit funny, more than anything. I kind of find it hard to take it serious. Which is the complete opposite of what I think Clive Barker is intending with anything he does. Uh, for the most part. I suspect in some way, shape, or form he wants people to take his, uh, his work somewhat seriously. Oh, hold on. We should visit the website. I actually don't even know if it's going to show up on screen or not. No, it's not going to. Uh, I don't think there's even going to be a website to visit. It at least gives me something different to look at instead of the, uh, the ruins. Actually, you know what? I can... Yeah, I'll just leave it. Wow, it's taking forever to load. I don't think it exists. <laughs> Double checking that's not the internet for some reason. Uh, nope, not the internet. The site just does not want to load. It's not even give me an address that it's going to. Weird. Uh, but yeah, it's it's an okay game. I don't see myself getting too too invested in playing it any more than I just have. I think I got the game for like a buck or two. It, you know what it feels like? It feels like a game that's like in, in between those two eras of uh, FPS shooters that were uh, coming out between like the the 90s until the early 2000s. Because like I said, this game came out in 2001. So this is like when games were trying to embody a lot of what we saw in games like uh, Quake. Uh, those early kind of games, Quake, Duke Nukem... Uh, his more 3D-ish adventures that were starting to come out around that time. Uh, the PlayStation 1 had, like, a share of shooters. And then transitioning into what would be, like, you know, the area with PS2 and the GameCube. Where shooters were coming, uh, first-person shooters were being a little more refined in that era. This one just sits smack dab in the middle of trying to embrace the games of, like, yesteryear. Uh, and trying to incorporate things that we were starting to see within uh, the media at the time. And it just doesn't work. <laughs> it, it, just, it feels kind of unfocused in a lot of ways where it's just like, you get these slightly uh, large areas. It's asking you to, to be playing it in a very Quake-like style where you can kind of like bypass enemies, shoot things, but it's incorporating like weird systems... I don't know. It's, a, it's just a very okay game. Not as bad as I was expecting it to be. With its very obvious textures showing. But you know, what? Keep when you keep hearing like, oh, all of Clive Barker's games aren't great. This one was okay. Actually, I am curious since we are, before we end this. I'm Clive Barker. 
games. Okay. I'm certain there's more than just the two. Though I could be completely wrong. Ah, uh, okay, yes, I was right. There is another one. Nightbreeder. Do I have Nightbreeder to play next week? Hmm. I know I, do, I have... I have Jericho on the Xbox 360, but I'm too lazy to set that up right now. I think Nightbreeder plays more like a point-and-click? Question mark? Um, my title. Knowing him, it should be in the C's. If I have it here. Oh. Maybe I don't. I thought for sure I did. Okay, I don't. That is somewhat unfortunate. Maybe it's easy, easily fixed, though. Search for night. Well, darn. I don't think it's even on GOG. I was actually kind of curious. <laughs> Oh well, that is kind of unfortunate. Explore his bizarre catalog of games he decided to do. <laughs> it's nothing to towards his credit as a writer because trying to write anything with a Lovecraftian uh, influence I suppose or you know very heavy in that direction it's not easy to make something that's good and it, it kind of because with Lovecraft it's one of those things where it definitely bores between it's either you do something that's really well written it has the right amount of suspense and mystery and everything and something that just comes off very schlocky and cheesy. It's a very difficult uh, line to balance. Like with uh, the Call of Cthulhu game, it did a pretty good job, all things considering, of like investing you into the uh, its world and game. But to its credit, it was also kind of backed behind a really good, you know, RPG system that was kind of laying out a lot of groundwork for it to begin with. Also, the company that made it's actually good. <laughs> There's a lot with Nightbreed. I thought it was just a thing. There's also a TV series, it looks like. I think I've heard the movie. The movie sounds familiar. We are looking for the game. Clarf Biker. <laughs> Clarf Bikers. <laughs> Clarf. Parker's uh, Nightbreed, the interactive movie. Ooh. Now I'm even more interested. From 1990. I want to play this now. The action game. One calls it the action game, no one calls it an interactive movie. And apparently there's an arcade version? Question mark? That's something to look into. For sure. Uh, but I think we're going to end it there. Uh, this was fun. It was interesting. Um, I'm going to stream again on Sunday. Unless I don't feel like it. But I, I'm kind of interested to try some games on my GOG account. Silly game. Good stream. Good to hear. Yeah, I, th I think next week we'll play another thing that's on a GOG account. Kind of like rummage through the 
list of things I bought. Because <laughs> there are there are a few things that aren't point and clicks, and I'm a little hesitant on streaming anything that's a point and click game. You know, very late into the Sunday day because it requires me to do a little bit more attentiveness, I suppose, rather than just kind of blindly like, you know, playing the game and having fun. Which is why I haven't played The Last Door. That's another game I want to do, but that's that's very point and click heavy. Anyways, I ram I'm rambling too much. We're gonna end this. Um, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. And until next time. Keep on gaming. Look at oh god, look at all that blood. Got, oh no. Hold on, we gotta close the game or else this is the only thing you're gonna hear. Close you demon game. Really? Okay. We gotta do this the old fashioned way apparently. Quit. <laughs> Can't just close what I want it to close, can ya? Have to be difficult. Okay. Uh, road this. This. No. This sounds thematically appropriate to end the stream on. Assuming it plays. Anytime now. Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Media player sucks.